The Mark VI patrol boat bristles with heavy automatic weapons, and that's the way its crews like it. The Mark VI is a replacement for the River Iron Command boat, which gained notoriety three years ago when two of them, along with their crews, were captured by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard when they strayed into Iranian waters near Farsi Island in the Arabian Gulf. The RCBs had four mounts that could support a number of heavy weapons to defend the boat. The Mark VI is in another league altogether. The boat shown to Defense News this month packed two stabilized, remote-operated, optically-guided MK50.50 caliber gun weapon systems, two MK38 Mod 2, 25mm, gun weapon systems, also remotely operated with an advanced optics system, and two crew-served .50 caliber machine guns. The new Mark VI has a communication suite that well exceeds that of the RCB. The new boat can connect with the fleet via Link 16, it also has high and ultra high frequency and satellite comms so shoreside controllers won't lose track of the boat, as happened during the Farsi Island incident. The 85-foot boat has a top speed of more than 40 knots and a range of up to 500 miles. It is a 10-person crew and can accommodate up to 20 personnel the RCB maxed out at 15 personnel. Among the possibilities Brack is looking at, using the Mark VI as a mothership for swarm attacks in conjunction with new 40-foot patrol boats being introduced to the force, operating unmanned aircraft for over-the-horizon surveillance, operating autonomous wave runners for various missions. The boat already comes with a ramp and rails to launch sleds for autonomous vehicles, which means the boats can be employed for mine countermeasures operations in the littorals. The launch capability is an area that needs improvement but is full of potential.
Mark VI patrol boats were delivered to 